Hi, my name is Meredith Daborski. I grew up in Rio Rancho, New Mexico, and I work as the Public Art Program Director for New Mexico Arts, a division in the Department of Cultural Affairs, and that is based in Santa Fe. What we do is we help acquire public artworks for public buildings across the state of New Mexico. Um, and that entails working with local and national artists um, to make sure that work is purchased, installed, and ready to view for the public. Good skills to have uh, within the public art program are skills such as project management. Uh, we have a lot of projects going on at once. There are millions of dollars being spent on public art every year in New Mexico. So juggling all of those projects at once, uh, it takes a certain kind of person who can handle that juggling. Um, and then also communication skills. Uh, you have to be out in the communities, uh, speaking with stakeholders across the state, working with artists directly to ensure that artwork is uh, being placed in sites and facilities that are accessible to the public. I didn't know I was going to be a public servant. Um, it was sort of something that popped up. And, and I've always been someone who sort of uh, went for whatever I wanted to do at the moment. And I feel like that's something really fun to possess, you know, instead of thinking that you need to know by 17 what you want to do for the rest of your life. Uh, you know, surprise, it doesn't work. <laughs> so uh, one of the things that I think was really interesting for me was, you know, I, I went to art school, I did get a bachelor's degree in fine arts. And uh, once I left school, I, I, I had a couple different thoughts, I thought maybe I wanted to become a teacher. I went back to UNM, I went and received my master's degree in art education thinking I was going to teach. And then that kind of led me into other worlds like museum studies and, and other paths that I didn't really realize existed. Um, and then when this position popped up, uh, it was actually an entry level position. I actually came in as a project coordinator um, and then I got promoted recently to director. And so it was something that I, I didn't expect, but I took the leap. And, and I think that's the key to any career is that if there's a position that pops up that you think that might be fun, try it because you, you never know. <laughs> uh, so while I was at Rio Rancho High School, uh, I think a really profound moment that happened to me was when I took graphic design. Um, so I actually, I was in the engineering path. I was doing really great in math and science. And I, I thought I was going to become an engineer. Um, and that class really opened my eyes to the fact that art is everywhere. Art is the car you drive, the clothes you wear, the building you're sitting in, you know, not just the painting on the wall. And so it really started making me think about, you know, I could become an engineer and probably make a lot of money, but would I be happy? And so I ended up sort of going down the path of choosing happiness over financial stability, <laughs> which, which, you know, seems scary. Um, and I think, you know, once you start going down that path and you start talking to people in the field and you start talking to designers or artists, you start to realize that you have to work maybe twice as hard as anyone else to make it. Um, but there was something about the challenge that I really loved. It was something like, what if I could do what I love? And it was also a challenge every day and it was exciting and it was different. Um, that sounded a lot better than it being in a cubicle and coding. <laughs> so, so, uh, that was kind of what drew me to the arts in general. Every day I talk to folks who are like, oh, I would never apply to that job. I would never get apply. You never know what will happen, you know, and maybe you're just the right fit. You know, maybe they don't want someone with 20 years experience, you know, who's set in their ways. Maybe they want someone fresh and new and different. You know, maybe they don't want someone already in the field. Maybe you're jumping into another field or another industry you know, make the leap because you never know how it's going to inform you. And every career choice is a learning experience.
You're going to learn good or bad, what to do, what not to do, but it's all valuable. And that's kind of the approach I took. And I feel like others should also listen to their gut and take that, that approach too.